Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward. This is Jake, and uh, we got a weekly update for you. Hey, Go guess where I'm going today? I heard you're going to Newton, man. I'm going to Newton, Texas. I'm going to be delivering some food and a few supplies to the mission teams down there so they can eat. They're cool. going to, Mike Brister said they're going to have this big block party. They're going to cook uh, meals for all the workers and yeah. and the people that live in the homes that they're fixing. Cool. So, yeah, uh, I'm excited. Guess So, I'm going to Newton. So, I packed my lunch. Fig Newtons. Got oh, some Fig gosh. Newtons. Oh, gosh. And uh, I've got an audio book written by Sir Isaac Newton. All right, so I'm going to be Man. listening to that on the way down there. I'm, I'm excited. I'm so sad I don't get to go. So yeah. sad. And in light of the trip, I got some new tires. So uh -huh. I'm I'm all newtoned up and wow. ready to go. Wow, I'm sad that I don't get to go to that. Hey, can they, can people keep still giving to that, Jake, uh, money or Yeah, so uh, we did have uh, family give some money uh, towards that, and we're sending all that money directly to Stepstones International, and Mike knows what to do with that, so mm -hmm. he can purchase supplies that he needs and uh, fund uh, other work. Uh, Mike said that even though their team may be leaving in a couple of weeks, there's about three months worth of work to do down there. Yeah. And so if you want to give financially, you can write a check to us and we can turn around and send it to Stepstones or you can write it directly to Stepstones and we can give you the information for that. Just contact me, Jake, at summitheightsfellowship.com. Yeah, and if you want to serve on that, uh, go down there and serve. Let us know as well because not only can we get you hooked up through Stepstones, uh, also a disaster relief team through the Southern Baptist Convention is also in Newton as well working there uh, and you can go through some training to be able to go into areas that normal people can't go into so that's a great opportunity for ministry for so sure. I'd never be able to serve if, um, if you're certified but, but you just said normal people well and you're certified okay. but not in that certification hey met with the elders last night really excited about this but we need your help and so we want to give you an opportunity to help uh, we are repainting all of our preschool area um, that one room we talked about last night Jake really cool i'm just telling you um and uh so we need to get that finished because oh we, yeah 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 um we are doing a uh what, what would you say an opening yeah uh, november the first we're going to be offering preschool and children during the 11 o'clock service only uh, we're going to be giving you more details about that, about masks, about distancing, about all that. Certain capacities that each room can exactly. hold. Yeah, so capacity is going to be down. So it's first come, first serve. So you guys got to get there early, uh, November 1st at 11 o'clock. But here's what we need to finish. We got to finish that uh, wing and get it ready um, for them. And it's all new paint, refresh. Uh, just it's, it's a cool deal. So if you can help during the week, on the weekend, uh, in the middle of the night. Um, you know what we ought to do, Crouch? What? You know those uh, commercials where they're trying to get people to adopt pets? Yeah, yeah. And they've got the pets, and they're like starving and shaking. And, and they you play got that the, song, in the arms Yeah, the arms of, of the angel. An angel. We need to get a bunch yeah. of... Uh, kid adventure kids and preschool kids with sad faces. Yeah, and, and play and that play song. Play that song and and manipulate some people to come finish those rooms. That'd be awesome. Hey, we'll be right back. We're gonna go get that set up. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, that, that'd be good. That'd be. I'd work. Um, hey, you, know, you don't need no manipulation, right? No, I mean, this is exciting. This November first, cool. we're gonna start to get kids back in kids ministry for the first time since all this COVID stuff started. It's going to be awesome. We've got a plan. They've got a plan, Ashley and Kristen. It's good. Uh, social distancing, uh, room capacities. But we do. we got to get those rooms finished. Yeah, and, and we're excited as elders uh, to move forward on that. We want to keep that 9 o'clock service for those at risk because we are sensitive that there are people still at risk and the virus is still there. Uh, so we want to uh, protect that 9 o'clock service, and we're going to continue to do that. But that 11 o'clock, we're going to kind of open it up a little bit with our capacity that we can. And I'm excited. I think it's going to be cool. And uh, what Ashley was telling me yesterday that she has like 18, 17 brand new volunteers that want to serve back in that area. And that's so crucial for us to be able to do this is those volunteers. So come help us paint. Get in touch with Ashley. Get in touch with us. You can call Paula the glue. Of yeah, Summit House. Paula. Uh, we love Paula. Um, if we can get you scheduled for that and get, and get you in there painting. So, Church, I love you. You got anything else, dude? You got to get on the road, don't you? You got somewhere like Newton. Big Newton's, Big Newton's baby. Stuff. 
um, y'all pray for Jake today. So we love you. Cannot wait to see you Sunday. By the way, last three Sundays, phenomenal 11 o'clock. Hey, are we still having a block party uh, so Sunday? Are we, we are, dude. We are. Party? We are. I'm excited about it too, man. I tried um, to do that thing with my beard when I got home Sunday. Yeah. And you'll have a real beard someday when you grow up. That'll be good. Right. Um, so, hey, we love you. We'll, can't wait to see you. We'll see you Sunday morning at 9 o'clock or 11 o'clock. Uh, don't be late. It's going to be good. Love you. Bye.